So, in, in my case, when I saw the spectrum, I see light in seven blocks. Mm -hmm. Each color has its own frequency. In seven blocks, like the magnet, magnetic, magnetic, it's one it's long and, and space. And I said to myself, electrons, light are the same thing. Walter then Russell said that create too. Create the magnetic field. Or, or then light with stillness. It magnetic. cannot produce a frequency different than the frequency of that color light. Therefore, the magnetic band must be exactly the same in frequency as the band of color. And to say, impossible. I said, well, these magnets don't behave like your magnets. Therefore, what we've done, we have isolated a band, a particular frequency band, which could be blue light. Is that by magnetizing the materials with a specific yep. frequency, like a harmonic it's frequency? Right. You're using the frequency known for that color. Mm -hmm. You put that frequency on, and that wave is different. Something that's different on the oscilloscope is different. When you take the red light frequency and tune and print that, the wave is different again. And I, I've said, and Brad Morris is one of my main sayings, the magnetic field is not one fixed band. It is equal to each of the color bands. Each produces the magnetic field.